You're listening to the Simplifiers Podcast, where we take topics in business and in life and simplify them. Award-winning event producer and educator, Mary Baird Wilcock, CSCP, will help you break it all down, figure it out, and spark you to do the thing. It's time to simplify. Here's your host, mentor, and undercover superhero, Mary Baird Wilcock. Hello, and welcome back to the Simplifiers podcast. Congratulations, you've caught on to what thousands around the world are realizing. When you simplify your work and life, you thrive. And on Fridays, we release a short bonus episode highlighting a super thought of the day. Now, these mini episodes will help you spark new ideas, new ways of thinking, or simply challenge some old beliefs that you might have. And today, I want to talk about what to do when you're feeling totally utterly emotionally depleted, and you just need a break. Woof. (laughs) I mean, we've all been there before. Heck, you might be feeling it right now. The alarm clock goes off. You open your eyes and feel just as exhausted as when you went to sleep. Instantly, your brain starts to spin out of control, thinking about the slew of 80 billion things that lie ahead for you. People wanting you to do stuff. Emails waiting for answers, laundry that needs sorting, and a never-ending supply of tasks that just need to get done, like yesterday. You know, but the problem is your inner love tank, as Dr. Chapman would say, is teetering on empty. The red light is blinking out of control, and you're totally depleted. You've got nothing left to give, and you feel like a Mack truck just ran you over. So what do you do then? Well, my conversation earlier this week with Jennifer Perkins triggered today's thought of the day. You guys, change is hard, and change is also emotionally exhausting. So today's episode is just simply a quick brainstorm of ideas of what you could do today to replenish yourself, both emotionally, physically, and mentally when you're feeling depleted. Here's what's working for me these days. You know, like Carrie Conti mentioned way back when on the podcast, self-care can be broken down in micro, medium, and mega moments. So let's start with some micro ideas. One, take three belly filling breaths right now. In through your nose, hold it for a couple of seconds, and then release out through the mouth. I mean, I want you to actually hit pause and try it right now. Pause and then out through the mouth. Don't worry, you guys. Hit pause. I will be here when you return. Ah, isn't that nice? Repeat until your heart rate slows down and the oxygen is starting to seep into your vital organs. Breathing. I mean, who knew it was so gosh darn important? Two, I want you to take your shoes off and your socks and sink your toes into the grass. I mean, ground yourself back down to the earth and look up at the sky. I know, I know it sounds crunchy granola, but just go with me for a second. In that teeny tiny moment, you shift your attention off of all the swirling thoughts in your head and you get back in touch with the sensation of your physical body and with mother nature. I mean, no, really, trust me, this stuff works. Three, pour yourself a big glass of crisp, cool water and then drink it. Filtered water is best, but really anything is good right now. Hydrating your body helps your brain work better and clear the fog. Plus, the more you pee, the more toxins you're removing from your body. Okay, so I'm no doctor, but this always makes me feel better. Okay, so let's talk about medium moments. I love these three. One, foot spas are the jam. Okay, so we don't have foot spas in Nottingham quite yet, but they can be found just about anywhere in the States. Okay, just imagine 60 minutes of getting a soothing, stress-relieving foot massage right now. I mean, I could totally be signed up for that. Yes, legit. You keep your clothes on for these types of reflexology massages, and they're always super affordable, like $35 for 60 minutes. And you can usually find a great one in your city with five-star reviews on Yelp.com just by simply typing foot spa. Two, pedicures. Okay, so the next best thing to this is, of course, a spa pedicure. I'll be honest, the foot massage part is my favorite bit. And I try to close my eyes and savor every second of it. So get off your phone and just enjoy the moment. Get a gel pedicure and then the color lasts for two to three weeks as well. 
So, okay, I can hear a couple of my friends saying, uh, Mary, I'm not really into people touching my feet. <laughs> okay, that's fine, whatevs. Just try a hand massage or a spa manicure instead. Three, take the afternoon off from work. Okay, guys, don't forget, one of the perks of owning your own business is setting your own hours. So if your brain just isn't in it to win it today, take a look at your calendar and see if it's possible to carve out four hours just for yourself. If so, put your out-of-office notifications on in Slack and in Gmail, and then get the heck out of Dodge. Go sit on a park bench, take a walk around the city, binge listen to your favorite podcasts, And go see a movie. I don't know, whatever it takes to shake you out of this funk and to help you stop feeling so emotionally depleted. Okay, so let's talk about mega moments. These are the big, big ones. One, book a retreat day. If you're feeling like you're slogging through your weekly work without a firm strategy in place, it might be time to book in a full day team retreat. I want you to jump off the hamster wheel Get your key team members to book in the time on their calendar as well, and then set an agenda. I mean, we do our team retreats quarterly to ensure that we're on target to hit our business goals this year, to help us brainstorm new ideas, and to re-energize everyone on the team, including myself. So this might be the ticket to shake things up. Two, maybe it's time for a duvet day. This is basically like taking an entire day, staying in your pajamas, watching Netflix, and slowing your pace way, way, way down. Stay in bed today. Remember, this is only for one day, so don't get stuck here. And make sure to click the link in our show notes for this episode to learn more top tips on how to take a great duvet day and making it the very best it can be. Three, plan your next vacation. You guys, I'm always shocked to hear from my clients that say that it's been four or five years since they took their last vacation. What, what? Even superheroes need rest and recharging. So I encourage you to pull out your journal, set a seven minute timer right now and start to write out various destinations that have been always on your someday list. Then I want you to figure out what your top three destinations are, like the ones of your dreams. Then circle one, I want you to set a date and make a plan to save up money. And if you're super bold, why not just go ahead and book that plane ticket right now? Here's the thing. The sooner you've got a ticket purchase, the sooner this dream becomes a reality, which releases those feel-good hormones and endorphins in your brain. And it's a win-win if you ask me. And just one final whisper, just for me to you, dear friend, come in closer. You know, if you're feeling worn out and exhausted, there is no reason to fight it. No amount of energy drinks or triple soy lattes are going to give you the deep, soul-quenching nourishment and rest that your body and mind desires in this moment. So stop. Breathe. Listen to your intuition. Ask her what she needs right now, and then make a plan to give it to her. Your brain will tell you lies and make you believe that you're just being a slacker or you just need to power through. Don't believe your mind. Listen to your heart. Nourish yourself with healthy self-care, and you're going to be back on top, feeling radiant, connected, and full of what it takes to do the thing. You can do this. I believe in you. It's time to simplify. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get more of this awesome goodness coming to you automatically on Tuesdays and Fridays. And let us know how you are taking some time off today. Reach out to us on social media. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast and a big thanks to our undercover superheroes at the Simplifiers podcast that help us create these episodes for you each and every week. Susan Marie, our podcast editor, Jeffrey Lynn, our video editor, Janine Yardley, our show notes editor, and Lydon Yardley, our director of brilliance. Man Mender Athwell is our blogger. Our advisory board includes Aubrey Nowitzki, Chris Justice, and George Mills. And I'm your host, Mary Baird Wilcock. Thank you so much for listening and telling your peeps about us. And as always, friends, keep things simple. Thanks for listening to the Simplifiers podcast. Find the show notes for this episode and all others at thesimplifierspodcast.com. Know someone in your life who needs to simplify? Be a hero and share our podcast with them. And we will see you here next time.
As always, keep it simple.